The James Webb Telescope has now released the most detailed image of Proxima b ever taken, showing astonishing details about this potentially habitable exoplanet. What wonders does this distant planet hold? Can life exist there? Follow me as we look at how the James Webb Space Telescope just released the clearest image of Proxima b ever seen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. By looking back billions of years in the history of the cosmos, we can observe how galaxies evolved. We could pursue that idea and examine the distant reaches of space with the James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST's infrared pictures are unlike anything humans have ever seen. The telescope's abilities, like a Snapchat filter on your phone, are based on how it is utilized. Astronomers can use the James Webb Space Telescope to study the early universe and learn more about how galaxies, stars, and planets develop. Researchers can investigate the hues in such images by collecting a precise spectrum of light colors with the telescope's camera and filters. The JWST will hunt for indications of extraterrestrial life in addition to examining the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system. The JWST's unparalleled ability to peek back in time and space has resulted in significant discoveries regarding the evolution of the universe. For example, the telescope enables astronomers to discover more mass than was previously supposed to exist in the universe, hidden away in a handful of big galaxies. So what exactly is Proxima b? After years of research, scientists finally discovered evidence of a planet's extremely small gravitational attraction on its star in 2013. The planet that circles around Proxima Centauri was later given the designation Proxima b. The discovery of this planet is significant given that it rotates around the second closest star system to us after the Sun. Because we are looking at the Alpha Centauri system as it was four years ago, it provides a glimpse into the past. The Alpha Centauri system is approximately four light years away. Proxima b is unquestionably the most exciting astronomical discovery. This planet is only 25 light years away from Earth, making it one of the closest exoplanets ever discovered. However, don't be fooled by the distance. Proxima b's world is completely different from ours. The planet is larger because its mass is approximately 30% more than that of Earth. But don't be tricked. Proxima b's year is only 11.2 Earth days long. This is owing to Proxima Centauri's tight orbit, which is only 7.3 million kilometers distant. That represents less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. The James Webb Space Telescope just released the clearest image of Proxima b ever seen. The star would be a dull red orb almost three times the size of our Sun. And if the planet is in its star's habitable zone, which it appears to be, it may have the necessary conditions to host liquid water. However, before you pack your bags for an interplanetary vacation, keep in mind that Proxima b is not a duplicate of Earth. For starters, the planet and its star may be tidally connected, which means that one side of the planet is always facing the star while the other is always in the dark. That is not a welcoming environment for any potential life forms. And any water that comes too close to the star will be boiled away by its powerful rays. On the other hand, if a planet is too far away from its star, it will not receive enough heat and all of its water will freeze. Proxima Centauri may not be as friendly to life as we thought. Despite having just 100% of the sun's mass, its diminutive size places its nuclear fusion core substantially closer to the surface, creating chaotic and turbulent surface activity. This activity produces unusually powerful magnetic fields that generate high-energy radiation and particle bursts for planets like Proxima b that orbit within the star's habitable zone. Despite considerable knowledge of magnetic field conditions surrounding nearby stars, astronomers did not know the precise magnetic field properties around Proxima Centauri until recently. Thanks to a recent study that used high-resolution magnetic field images, we now have a clearer picture of the star's solar wind and the awful situation on Proxima b. 
The planet receives approximately 1,000 times as much solar wind radiation as Earth, jeopardizing any potential life with powerful flares, according to the research. In fact, the Proxima Centauri flare in April 2021 was 100 times more powerful than any flare produced by the Sun. If you find this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. It's impossible to imagine how life might survive such high radiation levels in the absence of proper housing. While the idea of a planet with habitable conditions in the vicinity of Proxima Centauri is exciting, the reality appears to be quite different. Humans have always been fascinated by the prospect of encountering extraterrestrial life. And the interest reached new heights in late 2020 when a weird signal emanating from the Alpha Centauri system was discovered. Interesting is that this signal read at 982.07 MHz, which doesn't ordinarily connect with signals from satellites and other spacecraft located on Earth. While some researchers believe the signal was generated by a man-made instrument, others feel it could be evidence of intelligent life. It may not be as difficult as previously thought to visit Proxima Centauri, the closest planet to our solar system, and encounter extraterrestrial life. Breakthrough programs have been investigating methods to cut travel time from centuries to a few decades. A recent study reveals how current technology may be able to tackle the problem of speeding up an object as its mass increases, particularly when it exceeds the speed of light. Despite this, the closest star formation to Earth, Alpha Centauri, would require around 6,000 years of transit time with contemporary technology, making it a scary trek. Starshot, a project seeking to reach Alpha Centauri, the closest star in the system to Earth, is investigating the use of lasers to propel a spacecraft there. The Earth's atmosphere, however, impacts incoming light and laser light, making it impossible to generate the necessary force to propel a spaceship forward. Bandutunga, the paper's original author, suggests using adaptive optics in reverse to avoid this problem. Small lasers aboard satellites would monitor atmospheric impacts in real time, allowing far more powerful lasers on the ground to maintain a laser-like focus on the space mission. The vast 100 gigatons of power required by the required lasers to carry the vessel at any given time is equivalent to the whole electricity used in the United States. The lasers only need to be turned on for 10 minutes. They want to use 100 million lasers to spread the electricity across a one-kilometer radius. The Starshot crew is dedicated to furthering space exploration. When the lasers are turned off, the object racing through space will travel at 20% the speed of light. This spaceship, with a diameter of just over 10 meters, would travel to Alpha Centauri in about 22 years. The Sun's gravitational influence, along with that of neighboring interstellar material, may cause it to move far more slowly. Even if the spacecraft reaches Alpha Centauri, it will take four years for its signals to reach Earth. One of the most difficult issues, as Bandutunga and Sibley are well aware, is keeping the probe from melting. To avoid this, the mirror on the spaceship must reflect 99.99% of the light that strikes it. It must also cut heat while doubling momentum transmission in a matter of days. After being launched, the probe would likely traverse across the Alpha Centauri system, never getting near to a planet. The exciting feature of this concept is that once the launch system is constructed, additional probes can be added at a reasonable cost. If a fleet of probes floods adjacent star systems, the chances of seeing any Earth-like planets grow dramatically. Consider the possibilities. After reaching Proxima Centauri, humanity would have a whole star system to explore. How many more planets like ours are there? Exoplanets or planets outside our solar system have already been discovered in large numbers. Astronomers made the first confirmed discoveries of planets around a type of neutron star known as a pulsar in 1992. Three years later, the first planet discovered circling around a star comparable to the Sun. Numerous other planets have been discovered since then, including several Earth-sized worlds within their star's habitable zones. Alright everyone, this video ends here. Thanks for watching. 
If you find this video valuable, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any update.